Okay, so very good news today for a subscriber of mine who's been asking for a Steam Deck tutorial. So for a very long time now, a lot of people have been asking me, how do you do this on Steam Deck? How do you do that? So what I've done is recently had an early birthday present from my fiance's family and I've got myself a Steam Deck. And now and again, I've been asking for donations to my channel, so that's helped as well. And obviously these things are very expensive. This is the 64 gigabyte version. Now there's three versions of this. There's the 64 gigabyte, there's the 256 gigabyte, and there is the 512 gigabyte. So what this is essentially saying is that every model is pretty much the same, but memory storage is gonna be different. So that's very easy replaceable. So first of all, we have got a little micro SD card slot just here, so we can expand storage that way. And if we open up the back of this, there's actually a few little screws in there we can open this up with and replace it with a SSD, a solid state drive. And this thing is a beast of a system. I've checked out everything before I've actually gone to buy this today. And we can do a lot on this. So for retro emulation, this thing is gonna power PlayStation 3. This is definitely a must have buy if you can afford it. But as we know, these are very expensive if you can get hold of one. So this is literally the first time I'm turning this on. I've just charged it up a little bit. So we've got a power button just here on the top, which is next to the USB-C, which is currently charging. And as you can see just here, we've actually got a headphone jack and a couple of volume buttons. And on the back here, we got some trigger buttons as well. So underneath we got two uh, on each side and we got a couple of pads just here. And to make this thing a little bit more accessible for certain things, it's also got a very cool touch screen and it's pretty responsive apparently. But this is literally the first time I'm gonna power this on and I'm presuming it's gonna go into an installation process and here we go. So once we go through this process, I'd imagine then we're gonna go into Steam's own operating system, which is designed exclusively for the Steam Deck. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be an installation process. So I'm gonna quickly set this up a minute. We got lots of random uh, connections here, but I'm obviously gonna to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're now connecting to my Wi-Fi and connection has been successful. So continue and obviously you can press the buttons here. Uh, okay, so we're now installing Steam OS, and obviously this is the famous Steam logo. Uh, so yeah, you've got a couple of pads here on each side. We've obviously got a couple of analog sticks, which you can actually press down on to actually use these as buttons themselves. And we've also got a D-pad just here. Uh, so as it says, eight minutes remaining to install this, so it's not the end of the world. And we've also got a couple of buttons just here, which is little triggers as well. So there's a lot of different buttons to use on this system. And if you can hear the vents right now, on top of here, we got vents. Now, obviously, there's a lot of juicy hardware inside of one of these Steam Decks. And some of the games, it's likely going to get hot from time to time because it's a portable but we're gonna test that out. I'm gonna download one of my Steam games in a minute once we've got through this installation process and actually see how well this performs. So other things I'm gonna be doing with this Steam Deck now is do a retro bat tutorial. So I'm gonna be doing bat Sarah tutorials, uh, pretty much everything I've done on my channel to date. Uh, but I'm also gonna be varied now on platforms such as the Steam Deck. Okay, so we're now installing update and it's extracting that update. So uh, really, yeah, this video I'm doing today, it's just showing you that I'm now gonna be doing Steam Deck related setup guides as well as my normal Windows PC setup guides. And of course, I'm not gonna be forgetting about my RetroBat subscribers who use Windows. This just means it's gonna be a bit more varied and obviously support people out there who's using the Steam Deck, which seem to be in there many on my channel at the moment. Okay, so just logged in to my Steam account and it's asking us if we want to expand the storage. But for now, I'm gonna just do a very basic setup guide almost just so people who don't own one of these can see what this is like. So we're gonna press any button or tap the screen to continue. And if we just back out of this virtual keyboard. So this is it, this is your main interface of Steam OS. And I'm guessing somewhere is gonna be my games which I've actually bought in the past using Steam. So we got a little button just here. This is a Steam menu button. And under library, if I just switch down to this, 
Okay, so I can't actually find any of my games uh, for some reason, but what I am going to do is just download a free game. So we've got Warframe, uh, we've got Cyberpunk. So we got a lot of demos on uh, Steam OS or rather Steam itself. So what I'm going to do is just download a demo itself. So I'm going to go for something potentially demanding. Uh, so you know we got Ghost Runner just here. There's a free demo of that. That's a very cool game. Uh, Fear Two. That's a classic. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually download the demo for Resident Evil Village. So the reason I'm doing this is simply just to see what type of power this has got. So we're going to install demo. And as we see, this is now going to my internal drive. And I'm going to just press install on this. Uh, read the agreements. So essentially this works just like regular uh, Steam on PC or Windows PC. So we're now downloading this demo. Um, so if I use a Steam button just here, this brings up the menu on the side and under downloads, we're going to find our gameplay demo. We're going to find our demo just here. Okay, so our Resident Evil Village uh, gameplay demo is now completed. So I'm guessing if we press on the Steam button just here and go to library, we're going to find it here. And obviously this is going to be where all your Steam games are going to be located. So nice little interface there. Let's just click into this. And we've got the option to play this now, so let's go for it. But uh, I can't stress enough how good the sound is on this thing. It truly is really good. Okay, so let's just skip past the cutscene and let's see how this plays. So it's extremely, extremely smooth gameplay. Uh, just moving around and it's extremely smooth, like I say. So I'm not used to uh, the buttons on this yet, this is literally the first time I've had it. But if I look at the hands of the character I'm playing, very good shading on that applied and really good textures on his fingers as well. So it looks really good, I'm really impressed with this. So I was hoping we was going to get a bit of a demo for Resident Evil where we're shooting something, but uh, there we go. So I've not played uh, Village for quite some time now, and to be fair, I didn't complete it the first time round. Uh, the only game I did play in the series, was, uh, which I completed, was Resident Evil 2, uh, <laughs> and that was back in the 90s. Okay, so inventory, okay, so we've got a gun, equip it, let's see what this is like shooting, yeah, very nice, very nice. <laughs> So nice contrast in colours just here, the, the fire just here is actually very bright, it's um, not sure if this is an OLED screen the Steam Deck is using, but I think it's pretty close to that. Okay, lot pick. So again, just walking or rather crawling through here, just really nice lighting. So you can also connect Bluetooth controllers to this system, as I've read.
So that's it from my Steam Deck. So yeah, just a video is a little announcement for everyone who's asked for Steam Deck tutorials. They're on their way now, they're coming. And thanks again for people who's donated in the past. And thanks again to my fiance's family who's uh, kindly gave me some money uh, to buy this and uh, indeed help my channel. I'm really grateful for every bit of help I've had to get my channel where it is today. And as of date, I'm almost on 6,000 subscribers. So I'm really chuffed with that as well. And I really appreciate all the support people give to my channel, just Jamie. Uh, also follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for upcoming content then for the Steam Deck. But until next time, stay retro. Thank you.